How's it going guys? It's Tony Sauce. Thanks for checking out the video. So in this video, we're going to be trying to predict the week two MSPs for the Style Icon event. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this event is based on like the NHL players that have the best style in the league on and off the ice. So I think this is how it works because this event started in NHL 21, right? And if we take a look at the MSPs, you know, like clearly it's based on like the dudes who have style like look at this guy he's got a fucking guitar in the picture with a bandana and real quick i just want to say like these msps the art is unreal compared to this year this year the art is actually terrible now look at these style icon cards for this year compared to this style icon card like it's zoomed in on him like off the ice he's got a guitar in this picture the ovechkin one is really dope so look at ovechkin here it like zooms in on his yellow laces, the like mirrored visor, you know, it's just like these style icon cards were dope. We got Lundquist, look at this one, like the glasses with the suit, oh, it looks like Matthew's got one too, he's got the mask with the bucket hat, nice suit right there, PK Subban with like the cowboy hat, like these cards were so dope. And then we take a look at this year and it's like a fucking comic book style. I don't know. That's just something I wanted to talk about real quick is like, I really don't like the art on the cards this year compared to Chell 21. But like I said, we are going to try to predict the MSPs that are coming out for this Friday, week two style icons. And it's a total guess because like I would have never guessed Cole Caulfield, Andre Kuzmenko, like I would have never guessed them. Now my first guess is going to be Nylander. But he already has a Nations of Hockey MSP, so I feel like this kind of might take him out of the running because he already has an MSP, but I'm going to show you why I think he's going to get it. So the reason I'm thinking William Nylander is going to get an MSP is because he has style. Like, look at this dude. He's got the suit with the wife beater and the chain. He's got, like, the suit with the hockey stick. Or that's not even a hockey stick, actually, but he's just got style. Like, look at this outfit, bro. I can't click on it because I'm not logged in, but... He's got this nice, like, sweater with the pants with the crosses on them. Nice suit there. Bucket hat, chain. Like, I don't know if you saw him at the All-Star game, bro, but, like, he is fresh. He has style. He knows how to dress. Like, I definitely think Nylander could get one. I think he deserves one as well. His, he literally has styles in his bio. You guys see that? It literally says styles in his bio. That's really funny. All right, my second guess is going to be Matthews. However, he already got an MSP back in Chell 21, so I'm not really going to go too deep into that. Same with P.K. Subban, but those are like almost obvious choices right there, Matthews and P.K. Subban. But now the very obvious choice is Pasta. Now again, he already got a Nations of Hockey MSP, so I feel like that kind of takes him out of the running potentially. I don't know if they're going to give like the same player two MSPs. But let's take a look at why I think Pasta is going to get it. This is why I think Pasta is going to get one, despite already having a Nations of Hockey. Like, he is the definition of style in the league. Look at this suit. Wicked nice. He's just known for having, like, the best style in the league. He got, like, the Viper shades on at that outdoor game, Winter Classic. Another nice suit right here. Like, look at all these suits, bro. He literally has a compilation of his insane suits. What a beast. Another dope suit right here with the hat. Like, clearly, Pasta deserves one. Look at this nice trench coat here. Some dope shoes. I wonder what kind of shoes those are. Maybe, like, Alexander McQueen or some shit. I don't fucking know, but really dope style here. Hot wife. Like, dude's really killing it right now. All right, my next guess is going to be Zabanajad. Now, the main reason I think Zabanajad is going to get an MSP is because of his hair. Like, if we look at this Brian McCabe card, the arrow's literally pointing at his mohawk. So I'm thinking, like, little distinct features like that could earn a player an MSP. Let's take a look at some of these pics of Zabanajad. Like, he's got the long, flowing hair out of his helmet. He looks like a fucking, like, Native American out there, bro. He's definitely a hoss. Um, definitely think he could earn an MSP. I don't know about his, like, off-ice style. All right, doesn't really look like... He has too much off-ice style. It's just like some simple suits, but I honestly would not be surprised if he gets an MSP just because of his like long flowing hair out of his helmet. Like literally that's the only reason why. All right, next up we have Pat Kane. All right, I definitely think Pat Kane could get one. He's always had this kind of hockey hair coming out of the helmet, you know, visor. He's always just had hockey swag, I think. Nothing like super distinct with Pat Kane, but I definitely think that he fits that style icon mold. You know, he's got this nice suit right here. Just definitely has like on ice style. 
So I would not be surprised if Pat Kane gets one. I would actually be really happy about that because I love him as a player and his card always feels really good in the game. So getting an MSP for Pat Kane would be sick. I feel like we haven't seen a Pat Kane MSP in a while. So definitely would be sick if he got one. All right, next up on the list is Philip Forsberg. Now, pretty much the only reason I'm saying Philip Forsberg is because he has this mustache. I feel like they're gonna make the arrow like pointing right at his mustache. Like this, this mustache is definitely pretty iconic. Um, it's pretty funny. It's like really old style mustache. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Forsberg gets one and they fucking put an arrow directly pointing at his mustache. I definitely wouldn't be surprised. I also think Mitch Marner could get one, low key. He definitely has some style like in this picture here. Um, he was rocking like the bubble, the fishbowl earlier this year. So maybe they do like a, a picture of him with the fishbowl on. Yeah, like right here. He's got like the Mitch Marner 16 chain. That's pretty fresh. Nice red suit right here. So yeah, I could definitely see Mitch Marner getting one, but he already got a prototype MSP. So, you know, I don't really know if he'll get one, but yeah, definitely could see him getting one. He's got some style. Damn. Hot wife. Hot mom? No. Now, real quick, guys, before we end the video, I did want to show you guys this power rankings article, uh, NHL-style power rankings, just so you can kind of get an idea of some of the other players that we could see. So Patrick Laine, I guess he's ranked pretty well, but he already got, like, a regular 90 overall style icon card, not an MSP, so I can't really picture him getting one. Brent Burns got one an MSP for style icons, uh, either last year or the first year. I think it was last year. Uh, Anthony Duclair would actually be pretty good, but let's, let's go down here. Yeah. Anthony Duclair definitely has some style here. Yanni Gord, I guess. I don't know. I guess this guy has some style. looks like the Joker, Elvis Merz, Merz Lincolns, Adam Lowry, Patrick Laine. Yeah. He definitely has some style. Ryan Reeves, fucking beast. P.K. Subban, obviously, but he already got an MSP the first year. And then Pasta, yeah, Pasta has not gotten an MSP yet for style icons, and he is the definition of style icon. So really think that Pasta's up there. But yeah, right now, I really think it's it's Pasta and Nylander. Despite getting Nations of Hockey MSPs like a couple months ago, I really could see them getting style icon cards. I feel like they're the most deserving, but we'll have to see on Friday. That's it for the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think and who you think is going to be the Week 2 MSPs. Drop that in the comments below. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Link down below. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see some more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.